Greg's Book Club by Margarita Bree, read by Margarita Bree. Why do I have to go? I whined. I understand why you must go. Greg's your boss, so it's best to humour him. But why drag me along? Greg is detestable, pompous. He mows his employees down with his arrogance. I bet you a fiver that his song is Frank Sinatra's My Way. My whining and pleading were ignored by my wife. I realised that I was acting like a petulant child, but I really hated Greg's pretentious book clubs. Actually, the title of his so-called soiree was a ridiculous joke. There was no discussion because the book club was Greg-led, orchestrated, directed, and obviously he was the star. Not only did he have multiple roles, but he excluded everyone else. Before knocking on the oversized door on the oversized mansion, it was opened by a great bear of a man. His build was imposing and impressive in his very stature and powerful building. In the background, Greg's voice was over a certain. We tiptoed through to the living room where Greg boosted his ego using his megaphone voice. Always eager to take center stage and dazzle, Greg continued, barely glancing at us. The author is shameless, soulless. His style is barbaric, laughable. His characters spout rubbish, ridiculous dialogue, wooden characters, amateur plot. And so he continued. I wondered if he had even read the book. He never mentioned the authors or the characters' names. He merely spoke in generalities. While Greg enthused on how he would have written the book, I glanced shrugly around the room. Naturally, his audience was made up solely of his employees. Their enraptured looks of my hero plastered on their faces were so insincere sycophants. To fend off boredom, I played. If Greg was a, what kind of would he be? If Greg was a flower, he would be a anhydrangea. Definitely a big showy flower. If Greg was a song, he would be Frank Sinatra's My Way. When Greg actually said, that is how I would rewrite this awful novel. If I did it my way, I looked smugly at my wife.